What's going on guys? Gums here back again on another MLB The Show 20 Diamond Dynasty video. Stage 3 is coming really soon. Did you know it is actually coming on Tuesday? Uh, that's just a couple of days away. We already saw the first half of reveals that video is going to be in the top right hand corner. Today we're going to predict the National League players. Those are going to be revealed tomorrow. So let me know in the comment section 15 new diamonds. I don't think there's any new legends, but let me know your predictions for each team in the comment section below. And before we hop into this one, as always, make sure to leave a like if you guys have been enjoying the videos and subscribe if you guys are brand new. Going to have tons of tips and gameplays with the new players in stage three and then also expect some mo gameplay tomorrow uh literally mo gameplay with mo uh nice play on words there gums uh so we are going to go over all of that uh there are a couple that have been leaked i do want to say that before we get into this uh if you guys have not seen them uh for the chicago cubs it is going to be carrie wood and then the other one for the cincinnati reds is going to be eric davis and uh these are pretty good cards personally i think the eric davis looks really good he has a nice swing tons of speed uh pretty good hitting the vision isn't crazy but again we've talked talked about this it doesn't really matter contact is a hell of a lot more important than vision this year uh, so those two we kind of know are going to come and anticipate that to be revealed tomorrow uh, but let's get into the ones that we don't know what's going to be in the first one being the Atlanta Braves uh, I have two players really who I think it's going to be the first one is Dale Murphy now this is something we've noticed uh first of all stage three is all uh legends by the way if you guys didn't catch the drift it is all legends former players not somebody who is still currently playing and uh i'll be honest uh i do like the cards we have seen revealed uh but they're not like the big it, it is face of the franchise legends but it's not the face of the franchise you know it's like two face uh harvey dent from batman uh you know it's split dale murphy obviously people want Andrew Jones this card would not be bad I'm just anticipating uh being that we're getting you know Dwight Evans from the Red Sox being that we're getting Don Manningly from the Yankees not Gehrig uh not the really really big ones that people are usually excited for as far as Dynasty uh Diamond Dynasty goes Derm Dale Murphy would still be cool great defender good speed and then good overall hitting this would still be a fantastic card that we could get this year and then the other one it's going to be a new legend that we have already saw this year and that is going to be ryan klesko uh he has uh i don't know why i'm looking at him right there he has a card in the game right now it's an 86 overall y'all have seen it uh we can't spend too much time uh, on just the braves even though the sts for goddamn sure spends too much time on the braves this year uh moving on to the next one we have the marlins uh this i'll, I'll be honest it's a tough one uh tough one a tough task to take uh, a lot of t's the Marlins don't have a lot of W's. Uh, they haven't had a lot of legends that have been in the game. Uh, so I'm split between Cliff Floyd, uh, AJ Burnett, or Juan Pierre. I don't think Juan Pierre is technically possible uh, because he does have a prime card and we haven't seen anybody with a prime card get a better card than that. So I don't think he's eligible. Uh, plus it's it's a bit of a stretch to say Juan Pierre is a 97, 98. Uh, AJ Burnett, kind of a stretch as well well even a 94 is a little bit generous i would personally prefer aj burnett he has a great pitch mix and a great smooth buttery wind up and uh cliff floyd i just don't think this is likely because we just got cliff floyd as one of the mini bosses maybe they are holding out on a new legend maybe there's some other marlin greats that i'm not thinking of uh i I really don't think so. Um, but this is, as far as I can tell, probably going to be Cliff Floyd or AJ Burnett. Moving on to the Nationals. This, I do think, is going to be, again, one of those new legends introduced this year. I am pretty confident in this. There's technically only like two players who it really even could be and that is going to be Dennis Martinez or um Andre Dawson which I don't think is going to happen I think he's too big uh honestly for stage three uh Dennis Martinez obviously with the Nationals uh was his best team he did play for I think more years with the Orioles uh but the Expos not the Nationals technically was definitely his prime uh you guys can see here he had a 2.39 2.4 
24-7 ERA. He didn't strike out a ton of batters, as you can see, 147 and 226, um, but he didn't walk in overabundance of guys either, usually around the 50-60 mark in, you know, 225 plus inning stretches. Uh, I'm not really too sure what to expect as far as Dennis Martinez goes. Probably good hit nine, more of a pitch to contact pitcher, which um, typically doesn't work out too well in Diamond Dynasty. Moving on to the New York Metropolitans, one guy I think is definitely going to be Keith Hernandez. Of course, they have Tom Seaver. They have Mike Piazza. I'm really going to be shocked and appalled if we see Piazza. I don't think Tom Seaver is going to happen. Keith Hernandez is the most likely, and this would supply into their recent finish of first baseman. Quick fact, I went through. For all the hitters reviewed in the AL so far, 9 out of the 10 can play or are primary position first baseman. I don't know why that is. But, but it is. The only the only uh, skew in that number is Jay Buhner. Keith Hernandez would be all right. I don't think many people would exactly be jumping up and down for this card. Uh, but Keith Hernandez, I think, is someone pretty likely. And then over to the Phillies. This is not going to be Mike Schmidt. I really don't think so. He's, again, kind of the same way. He's like the Griffey. He's the Chipper Jones, the Andrew Jones, those guys uh, with the team. They're not the face of the franchise. Well, they are the face of the franchise, but I don't think they're going to get the face of the franchise i wish they called it something else call it the second place call it the runner up of the franchise call it the robin of the that would be a perfect name the robin of the franchise richie ashburn i would not give a shit about this card i'll be honest uh but somebody who i also wouldn't care about who is pretty likely is gonna be robin roberts another really old time legend for the phillies uh he has a card in the game right now but obviously that doesn't really do him justice looking at at some i keep moving this is really not ideal um if we were to look at some of his best years this is quite back in history uh, as far as strikeouts go he got some but he also pitched 300 plus innings uh, so Robin Roberts, uh, it's really always hard to tell what they're going to give stats for these guys that played way back in the day. Obviously, numbers are a lot more skewed and different than anything we would see today. So that's going to be Robin Roberts. That's my Phillies predictions. Uh, moving on to the Central. We already talked about Kerry Wood and Eric Davis. Those are the two from the Cubs and the Reds. Other teams, uh, the NL Central, I'm pretty confident in. As far as the Brewers go, I really don't see anybody else you know, uh, besides a new legend, it could be other than Robin Yount. Uh, and this would not be a bad card. Near diamond defense at shortstop, 76 speed. This is, of course, from last year, if you guys couldn't put two and two together. Uh, 107, 108 contact, mid-70s power, really high vision. If you boosted him to, I don't know, maybe 80 power aside so he can get the threshold, uh, this is going to be a fantastic shortstop. I think this would be a really cool card to see. Uh, so that's going to be from the Brewers. The Pirates, I'm pretty set in stone on Willie Stargell here. We already got a high Dave Parker and Andrew McCutcheon, so they don't have really that many other guys other than Bill Mazeroski, but last year his signature was a 93, so I don't think they would upgrade him all the way, and Stargell would be a fan favorite. Everybody seems to love his swing, including me. His 90's still on my bench, slapping dingers like it's his job, which it kind of is. That's what he's doing on the team. This will be a really cool card to see. Hopefully he can retain that first base secondary, because uh, I'll be honest, not too keen on putting him out in the outfield. I don't think he's going to do a whole lot of running. Moving to the Cardinals, this would be fantastic. This would really uh, make this team affinity for me. Uh, Jim Edmonds, he was probably one of my favorite cards, top three favorites last year. Introduced late. Uh, he was one of the signature teams. A lot of you guys didn't even grind that out. No, nah, it's a lie. He was the moments extreme. The moments mild, rather, was Jim Edmonds. And this is a really good card. Diamond defense, good enough speed. I'd probably say if he has 95 play him in a corner, it's better. And the 85 arm strength isn't uh, isn't bad, but it isn't, I don't know, 85 is still great. Then he's just amazing. Honestly, he almost did better lefty on lefty than he did righty on righty for me. Jim Edmonds would be the clear pick. I don't think Yadier Molina would be it because he's already been the stage one team affinity guy. Uh, I swear to God, if they give us, you know, slaughter, I'm about to slaughter somebody over there. Uh, this shit would be disgusting. We're going to pretend we didn't talk about this one and move right on to the NL West, uh, which again, a couple of these teams are
are pretty set in stone. I would say for the Diamondbacks, it's pretty clear they're going to be either Steve Finley or Luis Gonzalez, another team that doesn't really have an overabundance of legends in the game love for that to change maybe Ray Johnson even though that probably wouldn't be the team he's with or Kurt Schilling even though it probably wouldn't be the team he's with I think either of these two guys pick your uh I was gonna say pick your poison uh pick your antidote pick your shield pod Fortnite poggers uh this would be cool I would prefer it probably Luis Gonzalez although uh but Steve Finley really does bring the athleticism which is really good out there uh the Rockies I'm almost positive that this is going to be Dante Bichette because I don't think they have any other legends in the game right now uh Matt Holiday retired you know, technically, Ubaldo Jimenez is still there, but he's not in the game. Uh, Bichette would be cool. He would obviously get upgraded. He is pretty much the same thing as Jay Buhner, you know, in the fact that he didn't really... Des I don't know if he deserves like a 98, 97 card, but he's one of the few options they have. The Mariners obvi have, obviously have more, but they're clearly not putting Griffey out here right now. So Dante Bichette would be cool. It would be nice to see a good card of him a little bit earlier on in the year. Usually has a good swing for a righty albeit the Dodgers this is bold you are a bold one Gomes for making this pick Duke Schneider the Dodgers have a plenty full of legends some of the most in the game uh but Jackie already has a 99 I don't think they're giving us a 98 Gagne I don't think they're giving us uh some of those really big guys Sean Green is no longer having in uh having his rights in the game Duke Schneider would be fantastic didn't really get to use this card last year he was one of my last picks for the XP reward path yes he already has a 91 as far as the inning programs go uh but we saw Dwight Evans he's the Red Sox and he had a card that released even sooner or after the facts so Duke Schneider would be fantastic otherwise it's going to be somebody like Pee Wee Reese do you guys want to see Pee Wee Reese in the team affinity program I know I am I, I'm Jones and I'm Jones and for a Pee Wee Reese man uh for the Padres Trevor Hoffman is one of my favorites now this is something they have not done in this entire team affinity program yet there's been 60 diamonds guess how many are relievers yep zero there's zero relievers in the stage one or stage two diamonds I really want to see one get released right here. Trevor Hoffman, he uh, he was a battery Royale reward so far this year, I want to say. And uh, last year, obviously, he was XP. I think it's time to put him in. People are real. People are le legitimately jonesing for some really good relievers. We got Mo. This would be another fantastic one to put in. Pretty easily available. Trevor Hoffman would really like to see him here. Otherwise, for the Padres... Benito Santiago I really don't know who else they would put here uh really for the Padres and then finally for the Giants this is I guess probably even more so than the Dodgers just a smorgasbord of legends uh Matt Williams is my favorite again they like to repurpose really hard to obtain guys from last year and make them a bit easier he was a World Series last year and this would be a fantastic card his stats are amazing across the board even at shortstop he would be really fun to have out there and then maybe Christy Mathewson again this is a card I wouldn't exactly be uber excited for uh, but he's a 99 overall he is kind of a face of the franchise but I don't think we're gonna get a Willie McCovey I don't think we're gonna get uh, you know there's also Monte Irvin there who's a possibility but we already have the Posey for example uh, so that's gonna be it that's gonna be my stage three National League team affinity diamond prediction went over 13 went over two of them that have more than likely leaked as Kerry Wood and Eric Davis go and uh yeah these are going to be revealed tomorrow I'll make an update video as we see those get released tomorrow night leave your predictions down in the comment section which ones would be your favorite out of the ones we talked about particularly me I would love to see the Stargell the Edmonds and probably the Duke Schneider or Trevor Hoffman those would be fantastic but if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like down below thank you for watching hope you guys have a great day